Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones today is Monday, being the eighth day of March, with three of Lenten season, and year B of the church calendar. Today, the Monday church celebrates St. John of God, a religious. I read this will be coming from 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 42, verse 3. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel, chapter 4, verse 24 to 32. The theme of our message today is the cure of Naaman of Syria. Today we are presented about Naaman, the commander of his, the Syrian army and the favorite of the king of Syria. Because I brought so many victory to Syria through him. But this great general has everything, but he's a leper. For sure, he had tried everything, made all efforts to get cured, but no way. There was a Jewish girl who is now the maid of her wife, who they captured during one of their raids. So this girl came and told the wife. That if their husband, his husband, their father, will go to the prophet in Samaria, he will be healed. And when the man heard this, he went to the king and told him. The king of Syria didn't waste time. He wrote a letter immediately and said, go immediately. Send the letter to the king of Israel. Some send my, my general, Neman, for you to cure him of his leprosy. And when the king saw the letter, he tore his clothing. Said, my God, to heal, to give life and death. This man is just looking for my trouble. See how he's looking for my trouble. And the message came to Elisha, that the king has torn his clothing. And Elisha said they should send for the leper to come to him, so that they will know there's a prophet in Israel. And Nehemiah went to Prophet Elisha. Elisha, Elisha don't even come to meet him. He sent his messenger. He said, tell the man to go to the Jordan and dip himself seven times in Jordan and be healed. And when they told Nehemiah, Nehemiah busted in anger. Said, we have better water in Syria than they have here. I was thinking the man would come out and raise and pray upon me. They were asking me to go and dip myself in the water. I was annoyed. Very annoyed. But the little guy said, Look, Father, if the prophet had asked you to do something great, I would not have done it. Why not do this one he asked you to do? Is it because it's simple? You can see, simple things do not move in the eyes of many people who are very far from truth. They want something demonstrated. That's why many of the people today who answer people of God jump up and down, dance, jump up, break cheer, say that doing acrobatic, doing acrobatic something to heal, to deliver people. Is that the way God, our Lord Jesus Christ heals, for sure? That was the way of the bad prophets. And that's what Neman knew, knew about. But this one is different from what he knew. And he said, why not obey the, the prophet? And he, he went to the, the Jordan and did be saved seven times. And the boy became that, like that of a little child, or healed completely. And the man confessed. He said, Behold, now I know, now I know that God is no other way except in the land of Israel. I'm vowed not to worship any other thing. Except this God who hid it. Do you see 
The king doesn't even know that prophet Elisha hears. He's a common citizen. Doesn't recognize him, he doesn't even appreciate him. Treating his prophet with contempt. The Israelites are known to treat their prophet with contempt. And that's why today, treating their prophet with contempt, Jesus came to Nazareth. Went to the synagogue and told them, no prophet is honored in his own town. Among his own people. And he began to tell them about what has happened earlier. That like when there was a fair man in Israel, there were many widows in Israel. But God never, during the time of prophet Elijah, God never sent any of these widows, Elijah to any of these widows. Now they sent him to a Zarephite woman in Sidonian town. He said there were many lepers in Israel, and no one was healed. He sent the man to Syria. On this, the people who don't believe God and don't treat prophets with contempt, they got so annoyed and, and carried Jesus, tossed him out of the town, carried him to the hill on which they are going to throw him headlong. See, see the power, see the force in an unrepentant soul. You see a force in the person who is filled in darkness. See the force in the man who doesn't know God. Evil force. Instead of them to repent of their ways, they get angry. If you advise a wicked man who gets angry with you, if you, if you admonish him, he will attack you. That's a typical example today. Proving the book of Proverbs. So you can see today that because of the contempt they treat the people of God, the blessings of God eluded them in all forms. Y'all gave them two examples. The time of Elijah and the time of prophet Elisha. Had no witnesses to it. And now what the psalmist who understood this so we did to say today, my soul is testing for God, the living God. When can I enter and appear before his face, O God? We are testing for God. Forget everything we are doing. Lily, every one of us is testing for God. And it's only God who can fill us. It's only God who can heal us. It's only God who can satisfy us. Nothing on this earth can satisfy except God. In all situations. So the Zami is on capture this so way today. We are testing for God. And that was St. Augustine said. God created us for himself. And we never rest until we come into him. So today we see the healing of Naaman and see the contempt of the people of, of God against their prophets, sent to them by God to bless them, to help them to attend the purpose for which he created them. Instead of them accepting us as a blessing, they, they turned to be a curse upon them because they rejected it. And that why today you can see God is a, a merciful God. He's patient with every one of us. The John of Cross was, was a religious who was living a life of free man, doing whatever he likes. But at the age of 40, he felt he was called to care for the sick. Having listened to the sermon of St. John of Avila, he set up a foundation called the Brothers of the Hospitaller, Hospitaller of St. John. They spend their life caring for the sick and the needy. And that's what he lived for. And the church is celebrating him. He recovered himself and came back to God. And became useful to himself, became useful to God, became useful to the people. God created us for himself that we will glorify him and we will live our life for the glory of God and for good of others. Anything short of that, we're missing the mark. May God help us today to find the cure of the man of Syria, not that to show contempt to the people of, of God sent to us, but rather like to embrace them. If you don't embrace the true people of God, you embrace the false one. Now we we'll have many false prophets in Nigeria today terrorizing people. People are flogging to them to die. They are not going there to be saved. Many prophets who are today working for the demons and are there to destroy, kill, and destroy. The, the man of God is a humble man and a simple man. 
and healing doesn't require jumping up and down. May God help us to understand this today and we leave it out and know that our God hears and that God cares for those who trust in him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us today. I will celebrate the healing of them and, and our own healing too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.